This is a case of a 17-year-old male who has had a cholesteatoma that has been resected, and now they're concerned because they're worried about a recurrent cholesteatoma. So here are the critical images. This is a coronal T2, and you can see something's in that uh, evacuation pocket, the mastoidectomy bowl. And here on the diffusion-weighted images, you can definitely see something. So I'll show you the axial and the coronal diffusion weighted images, and it is time to make a stand. Decide for yourself, does this patient have recurrent cholesteatoma? This is what recurrent cholesteatoma looks like in a different patient. It is much brighter than the brain, right? So don't settle for, well, it's similar to the brain, so it must be a recurrent cholesteatoma. It should be brighter than brain, not just brighter than the surrounding temporal bone, brighter than gray matter on a diffusion-weighted image. That's a recurrent cholesteatoma. Here's the same patient's uh, ADC, in, in case you'd like to see those. So when you're deciding whether a patient has a recurrent cholesteatoma, you're looking for this, much brighter than brain, not this, which is essentially the same as the brain. The correct answer was negative, negative for recurrent cholesteatoma. They actually did go in and do surgery on that kid and found an abscess in the mastoidectomy bowl.